With the launch of the Chop Shop DLC, GTA Online got yet another business. This time, the salvage yard. So what is it? How does it work? And how good is it for making money? Let's discuss. First off, let's discuss location and upgrades. There's really only two locations you want to consider. The Strawberry location, which offers a great central location for all your missions, but can be a bit annoying to get your tow truck through. Or Marietta Heights, which is easier to access with your tow truck, but is more of the beaten path. Either of these two are fine. As for upgrades, trade rates will allow you to get up to 50% of your Morse Mutual claims. How worth it that is, is entirely up to you. $450,000 is a lot of destroyed vehicles, so you're looking at probably close to 100 until you get your money's worth. The tow truck has two different versions and in terms of performance are exactly the same. So unless you want a better looking tow truck, get the rusty one for basically half the price. The wall safe could also be a pretty decent pick if you're planning on sticking to the tow jobs. A normal safe already comes with the salvage yacht, which by default will store up to $100,000, but the upgraded wall safe will allow you to store up to $250,000. I'd argue though that it is really not worth the $750,000 because you can just go to your salvage yacht from time to time and pick up some cash. And finally, the staff upgrade. This is definitely a must buy. Buy. More on that later. The salvage yard can be split up in three different parts. The robberies, the tow truck and the safe. Let's start off with the robberies. There's three cars that you can acquire from Yusuf Amir, which can be found at the computer at the salvage yard. Each of these three vehicles have their own contract tied to them and once you've done them, you won't be able to do them again until the weekly reset every Thursday. These contracts are fairly simple, but the finales have some bonus challenges attached to them that can earn you up to $50,000. If you need some help with those, check out my guide for that here. Once the vehicles have been acquired, you have a choice to make to either sell them to Yusuf or salvage them in your garage. The obvious choice here is to sell them to Yusuf because salvaging them has no real benefit and takes 144 minutes with the staff upgrade and 196 minutes without the staff upgrade for you to get paid. It will take up valuable space that can also be used to source other vehicles via your tow truck instead, making you a lot more money. These robberies can earn you quite a bit of money and are honestly worth a play. And in case you're wondering, no, selling multiple vehicles will not make you more money and there is no high demand cash bonus either. The delivery of these vehicles is literally you just driving to the docks and deliver them without a single NPC following you. So honestly, just sell it in an invite only session and save yourself a lot of headaches. The tow truck is the majority of the salvage yard business, as the robberies will probably take you 3 hours at most to complete them all, and honestly that's really stretching it. The goal of the tow truck is well to tow cars. You can store up to 2 cars in your salvage yard, meaning that after you've towed 2 of them, you can go and do something else in the game. Or you can shut off the game entirely, because even when you're not in the game, the cars will still be salvaged and once you log back into the game, you will get paid right away. But how much am I going to get paid? Each salvage car will earn you thirty to forty thousand dollars and will take forty-eight minutes to be salvaged. So that means you'll get paid forty-eight minutes after you delivered a towed car. And because you can store up to two of them at a time, you're looking at sixty to eighty thousand dollars every forty-eight minutes. That is, if you have the staff upgrades. If you don't have the staff upgrade, it will take ninety-six minutes for the car to be salvaged, and thus you getting paid. So yes, the staff upgrade is very much worth the investment. And while on paper that sounds awful, there's a catch that makes this business a lot more interesting. The safe. The safe works just like the safe in the nightclub. The more tow jobs that you do and cars you salvage, the more money you will get every 48 minutes in your safe. Sadly, you won't be able to see how your popularity level is, but there's a pretty simple way of figuring it out. Let me explain. For every tow job that you'll do, you get 25 popularity levels, meaning that after 4 tow jobs, you have the maximum popularity level of 100, allowing you to earn the maximum amount of money for your save, which is $24,000 every 48 minutes. Every 48 minutes, you will also lose 5 popularity levels, and every 10 popularity levels, you will get less money every 48 minutes meaning that you realistically only have to do a tow job every 96 minutes to keep your popularity level at maximum. 
meaning that with the staff upgrades you'll be able to earn a passive income of $84,000 to $104,000 every 48 minutes in kind of passive income. Which honestly isn't that bad, but definitely isn't as good as the other passive businesses in the game that require you to do a whole lot less. Take the SLF for example, all you have to do is call up Mud and he will do the supplies for you. So is it worth the 5 to 5.5 million dollar investment? Not really if I'm honest. The only real reason to get the salvage yard is to play the robberies and enjoy the company of Yusuf Amir for those brief moments. Luckily they won't require you to buy the tow truck or any upgrades and all you really need for that is the salvage yard and you'll be able to play the robberies. Meaning that it will cost you about 2.5 million dollars. And because these robberies should earn you about a million every week, you can make your money back pretty easily and also enjoy a new bit of content. But I don't think there's going to be a lot of people very interested in maintaining a tow trucking business for a measly $84,000 to $104,000 an hour if you're simply in it for only the money. And that is a selfish art business. Leave a like if you enjoyed or found it useful, subscribe for more and become a member like Chloe, GTA Plus, Dan, Notorious Jam, and the Crystal Onyx. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.